Hello, I'm Alan Kedas, I'm the Operations Manager for the Environment Agency. Uh, it's my job to make, make sure that this new scheme is maintained and operated as it was designed and, and built to do. Um, we had an event early on this year in, in January, which came very, very soon after the scheme was, was completed. I'm pleased to say that the scheme worked exactly as it was designed to do, uh, and we are totally delighted in, in, in the way that it, it worked. But we realised that because the scheme is quite complicated, there were a number of residents who didn't understand how the scheme operated, they expected to see different things, and there were a number of rumours circulating around the town during the night that the flood, flood happened, and since that time that things didn't go exactly uh, as it was planned. So we thought we'd have this drop-in session here today where people can come in, they can have a look at the plans, they can talk to members of the Environment Agency to ask what happened on the night, um, how the scheme operated, um, dispel any rumours that, that went round, and also it's an opportunity for them to come and talk to uh, Northumberland County Council, uh, who were of course part funders of the scheme, we built it in partnership with them, but Northumberland County Council are still continuing with some work to uh, cope with surface water flooding in the town. As well as that, we've still got some work which we haven't completed yet, which is on the Cotting Burn, where there is another reservoir which we're building, much smaller than the one on, on the Wandsbeck, but we'll be completing that one later this year, along with another tree catcher, um, which will stop the big trees going through the town of, of Mob itself. Uh, what sort of reaction have you had from people who've been in so far today? The reaction's been very, very positive. I think people have been really interested to see how, how the scheme worked and just to ask those questions about how the dam operates. Fascinated to understand that the dam is controlled by uh, a computer which monitors the river, monitors the gates, works out which one needs to be shut. Um, so it's, it, it's all sort of looked at from uh, quite a high sort of technological um, viewpoint really. So people have been really interested to find out how it works. And actually, one of the big questions they want to ask us is, did it work the way you thought it was going to work? And to be able to say to them, yes, absolutely, it worked fantastically. Uh, and we are thrilled. And I think that's given people a lot of, a lot of confidence that the scheme is working and that, that we do know what, we, what we're talking about when we're managing flood risk in the town. Is it, is it also the case that by uh, the standards that the the, the dam is, uh, is is built to you. That the last incident was a a, a a test, but really it didn't didn't test the defences seriously. It was a perfect test. Um, it, the scheme's designed so that um, quite a high flow actually goes down through the town. So the flow which went through the town shouldn't be any bigger in any future higher events than the flow which which came down because it's designed to take that, that level of flow. The scheme then operates um, to trap water once flow going through the town reaches probably the maximum capacity of the walls. And it only impounds at about 8% of its total capacity at the, the reservoir. So we've got 92% of the storage capacity still to go in, in, in a bigger event. But I think in terms of event size, it was perfect. It was the perfect size. Um, that, that we could deal with, check that, that it worked, uh, check our operational procedures, the closing of the gates in the town. Um, so I, I was personally delighted to see that uh, the scheme worked.